So let's convert grams of O2 to moles. We're talking about grams of oxygen to moles. And we're going to start with 72.1 grams of O2. It's just a number I made up for the video. So when we convert from grams to moles, it's kind of helpful to think about it like this here. When we go from moles to grams, we multiply by the molar mass. So that's easy to remember. Moles to grams, multiply. For grams to moles, that's what we have here. Grams to moles, we're just going to do the opposite. We'll divide by the molar mass. So let's do that. The molar mass of oxygen, O2, that's 32.00 grams per mole. If you need help figuring that out, there's a link at the end of this video, how to find the molar mass for O2. So to get from grams of O2 to moles, we take our grams, we divide by the molar mass, and we get moles. Let's do that. We have our 72.1 grams that was given to us. We divide that by the molar mass of O2. That's right there. When we do this, you'll see we have grams on the top and the bottom here. They cancel out. This is going to work out to give us moles. So all we need to do to get from grams to moles for O2 is divide the grams we're given by the molar mass of oxygen. We end up with 2.25 moles, and that's of oxygen, O2. So that's it. That's how you do it. Sometimes you're asked to use the factor label method or dimensional analysis, the conversion factors. Let me show you how to do that. Teachers tend to like that. So it's the same basic thing. We start with our grams, but in this case, we multiply by a conversion factor. We have grams on the top. We want to get grams on the bottom so they cancel out, and we want to end up with moles. So that needs to be on the top there. So 32.00 grams in one mole, and that's one mole of O2. So we multiply the top, and when we divide by the bottom, grams are on the top and bottom, just like before, they're gone, and we end up with moles of oxygen. It's 2.25 moles, and that's moles of O2. So that's how you convert from grams of oxygen to moles. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.